If I were a very wise man, uh, I would have spoken in about 10 minutes and returned the worship band back to us. Because where we sing, uh, if you have not heard this before, there's a portion of your brain affected by trauma called the amygdala. It's an interplay between the amygdala and the hippocampus. And the amygdala is online every moment of a person's life, constantly going, danger, danger, snake, snake, black snakes, all over. No, no, no. They are wires keeping me speaking. (laughs) And the amygdala is constantly looking for danger and warning our brain that we are in trouble. And the hippocampus is actually going, No, you're okay. These are wires. They are necessary for music uh, and for speech. You are well. But I already said the hippocampus shrinks as a result of trauma. Thank God the hippocampus can grow to the degree we begin to tell our stories. Tell our stories in a way in which we have a way of helping regulate our own bodies struggle when we tell those stories. People who know how to bring comfort, who are able to bring kindness, containment and strength about how far to go and when it's not right to go any further into our own story. But here's the sweet piece of news. When you sing and you hear music, your amygdala, fMRIs, those machines that actually show the brain, your amygdala dances when you sing. Your brain changes when you sing. When you hear music, when you worship, when you have a chance to be in the presence of beauty, your body begins to change. 